Hi everybody, Liz here in Modesto. Happy election day, such a big day for all of us. I'm at this polling place right now in Modesto where there's been this steady stream of people coming in and out. In fact, this is the first I've seen no no line out the door since I've been here and we've been told that it's been uh, pretty packed all day. So I'm gonna wait for some people to join us. I know that ABC is gonna share this, but before they run away, I wanna to talk to some voters here. Um, this is Hi. Sarah and Michael. Hi. Hey guys, so, um, okay, so you told me that, we haven't talked, this is our first time really talking yes. about it, but you just said this is your first time voting. Why yes. did you decide to come out and vote this time? Well, because I've been a felon before previously. I haven't had okay. the option to, and now I do have the option to, and I wanna get my voice heard. I wanna vote for who deserves it. That's like amazing. John Maine. John Maine. John, that's, that's, that's who we're voting for. John Maine today. Who is that? He is the gentleman that's going to take over. Hopefully, his district attorney. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. That's why we're here. So I have to admit, the reason that I'm really here right now um, is because everyone's talking about the congressional race here in District 10. That's the race that could flip. The, if it go, it's red right now. If it goes blue, it could be one of the races that turns the whole state. Well, we're going country. Denham all the way. You're going Denham. Yes. What do you like way. about Jeff Denham? I like the fact that he's a Republican. Yes. Yes. So that's where I'm at with it. That was my only concern because I was really here for John Mayton. So. so you're voting down party line. Yes, I for am. Sure. For what that, about you? I did the same thing as well. Yeah. Yes. So you guys have been pretty happy overall with Jeff Denham as your congressman. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. I feel like um, a lot. some people in the district were upset it seemed like by his health care vote but overall it seems like even you know this district voted for Hillary Clinton in 2016 but they still voted for Jeff Denham like Which, it seems like people like Jeff yes, Denham. Yes exactly exactly I agree completely it yeah. was kind of a paradox when that happened but you know. Right so how does it feel to vote for the first time? It feels amazing. Yeah to actually I want to hear my voice heard. Yeah that's awesome okay cool well All thanks right, thank guys you. have thank a good much. night. Bye. Sir do you want to chat for a sec? I'm a reporter with ABC 10. Do you want to say something about voting? Oh, well, you know, I don't know what to say. I don't know. Have you voted in past elections before? Yes, I have. You have? Yes. So have you been following the fact for all of all you guys watching out there, um, this is a district that a lot of people are watching across the country because it might go blue, so to speak. Have mm. you? Are you turning out today because of that congressional race? Um, well, I don't understand that. That's a thing, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I, I came to vote for, um, what's his name, John, uh, John... Josh Harder? Or John... John, the other one, what's oh, his name? Oh, Jeff Denham? For governor? Oh, yeah. John Cox, for yeah, governor. Cox, okay, yeah, got it, John Cox yeah. for governor, got it. Okay, yeah. so, good. Thank you so much, sir, I appreciate it. Yes, okay, Bye. thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, say hi if you're here and let me know if you voted today and also what issues matter to you. I think something that's really interesting from just the couple people I talked to is that um, that gentleman said he was coming out to vote today because he wanted to vote for John Cox for governor. The other people I spoke to said that they were out here today because they cared about, uh, I think they said, some another race locally and it actually wasn't because of the congressional race, which is what I think across the country people think is really um, the most talked about race in this area. Hey Marcella, hey Travis. Uh, thank Thanks for saying hi. Um, again, I got to tell you, so we're here at the Emanuel Lutheran Church here in Modesto, and like I said to some of you before, there's this line right now of people here, and I actually thought that maybe there wouldn't be a line because of early voting, but I asked the workers here, and they were like, oh my God, it has been nonstop all day. We haven't even been able to take a bathroom break. It's been so busy. They said that this is actually sort of the slowest that it's been all day. And they said that they, um, that it, I said, how is it compared to past years? Because some of them have voted, um, have worked here in past years. They said that it's at least as busy as 2016, if not busier. So it is really fascinating to see the turnout that we're seeing in California across the country and particularly in these races that are so hotly contested right now. So um, this is Hosea to give you guys a behind the scenes look. That's Hosea. He's a photojournalist for us. We're working together tonight covering the Jeff Denham, Josh Harder race. He's setting up our live shot for the 5 p.m. news because we'll be out here at 5 p.m. and then at 6 p.m. and then at uh, 8 p.m. we're going to do a digital